the dumb ones, they come. The bad ones, I like them. Hello and welcome to the Wacky World of Worshippers. I'm Logic, and this week we're taking a look at Behind the Veil, hidden camera footage inside a Mormon temple. Here we see the Mormon chefs pleading with God to allow their souffle to rise correctly. You might think that that's a small thing to ask of Elohim of the planet Kolob, but have you ever made souffle? It's not as easy as it looks. Okay, now be very, very quiet. Here we see the Mormon ritual of converting the dead to Mormonism. Once they were done baptizing all the dead people, they moved on to baptizing the Looney Tunes. Because it has exactly the same effect, you might as well get weird with it. Please do so in an orderly manner, row by row, as directed. We will now proceed with the present. This is really, really awkward to watch. Brethren Reason being sisters, that I have a theory about why that guy's standing there. I think that he used to be the one who was talking, but he was so bad at it that they decided they had to replace him with a recording. Or as you are now anointed only to become such. I honestly don't know why he still stands there. Maybe when they said they were firing him, he got down on his knees and pleaded for a job to Elohim. And Elohim said, yeah, well, okay, you can just stand there and we'll keep you on salary, it's cool. I like how they put Elohim above Jehovah. You know, people say that Mormons are actually Christians, but I don't know. I mean, if they don't worship Jehovah, they don't worship the same God. This recording's kind of like a big middle finger to all the other Christian sects. And while it is incredibly weird and bizarre and cultish, I gotta say that this means Mormonism is probably my favorite brand of Christianity. It doesn't just differ in the details, it actually blasphemes against their God itself. Come, Michael. Let us go down. We will go down, Jehovah. Michael. See. <sighs> uh, man, that's boring. Couldn't they afford a laser disc of Star Wars? If you consecrate yourselves, your time, talents, and everything with which the Lord has blessed you, or with which He may bless you, to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints. I wonder what would happen if the church demanded that they give up their special underwear. Would the contradiction make their heads explode? Things you don't hear. Things you'll never hear on an apologetics video. Number 180. I forgive everyone everything. That's just my religion. Things you don't hear. Things you'll never hear on an apologetics video. Each of you bow your head and say yes. Yes. You know, this is a recording, so I wonder how often it happens that they're not really paying attention, they're just kind of kneeling there, you know. Man, my mortgage payment is due tomorrow. Or, hey, how should we lay out the new kitchen? And this recording comes along and says, bow your heads and say yes. And they just don't answer. And then it says, that will do. This is why I think they should just fire the guy who stands there, get rid of the recording, and hire someone who can actually speak properly. all of you will have to pass through the veil, we will show you how this is to be done. The person is brought to this point, and the worker gives three distinct taps with the mallet. I think maybe the one place Mormonism falls Lord down is that Lord this is way too fucking masks. complicated. You know, there are a lot of really big religions, really successful ones, that manage to be successful without needing a minute and a half of explanation of the ritual to go through a curtain. You know, according to this video, this ritual is actually a test of the knowledge that has been acquired during this experience in the temple. And through the curtain is a waiting room where people just sit and relax for a few minutes before they go out the exit. So presumably, this is the only way to the exit. So I wonder what happens if the person wasn't paying attention at all and fails to get the answers right. Are they never allowed to leave? Do they just kill them on the spot? Or do they just kind of stand there awkwardly for like three hours and then eventually they say, Man, I really, really, really have to go to the bathroom. Can I please get out of here? And the guy who's been standing there staring at the curtain for the last three hours is like, Yeah, okay, fine. See, that's where these really complicated rituals fall down because if someone fucks it up just a little bit, it's pretty much impossible to recover and it just gets really awkward really fast. 